Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a quick update on what is happening today per Nate Eaton from East Idaho News. He let us know last night on a great live. I will link it in the description so you can watch his full live. It was very good as usual. Today, what will be happening on day six and then tomorrow will be day seven, but day six of the Doomsday Prophet trial is that the court will continue this morning at 10 a.m. Mountain. There will be no live streaming of the proceedings for the uh, peremptory challenges that are taking place today. The reason is because the courtroom has to be closed so that the 57 jurors can use the gallery. If the cameras were on, we'd see every face and we don't want that. So the courtroom will be closed to the cameras and they will continue with the jury selection by moving on to the peremptory challenges. So we know we need 16 of those. And like Nate said, there'll be a back and forth between both sides, who stays and who goes, and they'll strike them off of each of their lists until they whittle it down to the 12 jurors and six alternates. Then what we will see on day seven, which will be the start of an eight to 10 week trial, will be the opening statements. And this, as Nate said, could happen on Tuesday or Wednesday. And they will begin with the witnesses. Not sure who will be called first in this one. Nate said that Kay was called first during the trial for uh, Lori Vallow. Then after that, they will move on to evidence and the jurors will possibly see the autopsies of all three victims. Then after that, they will continue to work towards a verdict and that'll be the end of what happens on day six. So it'll be quick. Nate said that it'll probably be about an hour for the back and forth and choosing. And then we will be back in the courtroom on day seven. I'll be back live and I will see you guys there. Thank you for watching. And I want to give you a little bit of just a little bit of something at the end of this video. I'll, I'll kind of give you a hint, a little bit of what it is. I thank you for watching this video and I will see you bright and early in the morning. I am not sure what the time is. Um, I'll maybe tweet that out or something or other, or I'll start the live when I find out tonight from Nate what time they plan to start in the morning. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. So I have a young kid, and when we get up in the mornings, if I ask him what he wants for breakfast, nine times out of ten, it's cheesy eggs. But there's a very specific recipe that he likes me to follow, and it's simple, but it's what he likes. So it's the eggs and the milk and the cheese and the salt and pepper. And if I don't follow that recipe, sometimes he's not very happy with me. And sometimes I might modify it because maybe he wants a little bit of extra cheese in it. Can others relate with having someone, whether it's a kid or someone else that maybe has a very specific recipe or a very specific way they like things done? And Juror 716, I see you nodding along. Have you had a similar experience? Yes, I have. I mean, I have two kids, so our three kids, one, one lives with kids still. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it, yeah, I've been in that situation. And do you end up a lot of times just following what that kid may want? Sometimes. I wouldn't think all the time. Do you sometimes modify it? Yes. And your 722, I saw you also nodding. Is it similar for you? Yeah, just or I remember the two-year-olds and three-year-olds, you know, they just they think they know what they want and then of course you do it and, and then they change their mind and somehow you cut it wrong. Yeah. Yes. Um, I have been there as well. So with that, um, 
So we all kind of have recipes that we follow for certain things. And sometimes we might tweak them in our everyday lives. Um, maybe a kid wants something done a little bit different. Maybe we think we can make it better. But in this case, the judge is going to give us all or you all jury instructions. And it, those jury instructions will include an instruction on the elements of each crime that the state has to prove. And kind of like ingredients, they're going to be listed out. And unlike real life, where we might say, I might tweak this a little bit, or I might add this or take this away, you're not going to be able to do that. Whatever the judge gives you as the instruction, that's it. Does anyone have concerns that if you look at that and you think, oh, man, I don't like this element, or why don't they have to prove this too? Could everyone commit that they'll just follow what's given by the judge? Does anyone have concerns about that? Thank you.